Eh, tenemos el privilegio de hablar con Scott Keon, el presidente de Audi of America del nuevo Audi A3 2015. Well, Scott, thank you very much for uh, having us here in a very, very, very important launch for, for Audi. I mean, uh, this car is going to probably put you like at the next level that you want to reach in terms of uh, sales and approaching new customers and uh, offering also a lot of new things in, the, in a car this size and price. That's exactly right. Uh, you know, we've spent a lot of time and energy making our brand hot, making our brand cool, and now it's time to launch this A3. Uh, yeah. It's priced at $30,000. It's got all the technology that you mentioned, 4G LTE, MMI Touch. Uh, it's going to be a great opportunity for yeah. us. Our dealers are ready. Yeah, we're here at uh, Silicon Valley, and you, you brought like a, a technology museum here to us to show everything. <laughs> we did. Ver very interesting things with uh, Audi and, for example, Google that I, I didn't know, to be honest. I just heard you in the presentation. But you've been partners with Google before the iPhone. Exactly right. We're partners with them since 2004, and we were, again, the first car to put Google Earth on a mobile device, the automobile. We did it before yeah. the smartphone in front of me. And, of course, we also have Google Street View, point of interest search. These are all the things. But the thing that's crucial for us is to have this properly integrated into the car. It's yeah. safer. It allows people to focus. And that's what Audi does. Yeah, because some technology, I mean, it's pretty advanced. And it says it's, it's coming up very fast for some customers to even learn how to do it. It's, and then some people are still, like, even afraid of GPS. So let's talk about all the other things that are in the car now. Exactly right. But I think if you look at it, the way we integrate it so smartly, it basically transformed navigation. Navigation used to be a couple of colors, a couple of lines up on a screen. Now we made it look exactly like Google Earth. So it puts customers right at home. Uh, and that's why, when you smartly integrate something, consumers understand it. Yeah, and uh, how challenging it's been to integrate all that technology, because as we know now, technology goes like fast, and the, 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 the plan for a car is what, five, or used to be five to seven yeah. years. Life cycles uh, are seven years long now, So exactly like, right. But uh, I mean, how do you integrate these things that come up, and maybe in six months is something new? It's extremely challenging, extremely difficult, you're exactly right, but the smartest reason is the second partner that we spoke about called NVIDIA. Because the truth be told, everything's possible as long as you got a chip that has a lot of speed and a lot of memory. And what we've announced is historically what happens is you have a single chip in the car and that chip stays over the entire life cycle of this car, nearly seven years. That is a challenging environment. But if you look at the design that we have, we're allowed to upgrade chipsets throughout the product's life cycle. This is going to allow us to keep up with technology. Because really what phones need is they need all of that processing power to yeah. give you all the things you need. Yeah, it's amazing. So it's like uh, upgrading an app <laughs> Exactly phone. right, exactly right. Now, as of now, it's only going to happen in the factory. Obviously, you won't be able to just do it yourself at home, but I can foresee an environment, particularly at the dealerships, where you get these upgrades of cars and you're upgrading a chip yeah, inside the car. Speaking about the advancement of technology. Yeah. And like, so the other thing is that this car, I, we, I drove the, this afternoon the oh, 1.8, yep. and you forget, like, this is like an entry-level car, because what, once you get into it, like, even the sound of the door is, like, very solid, the grip on the, on the wheel, uh, the steering wheel is, is really, really, like, a luxury car. Well, I'm glad you noticed, and that's exactly what we wanted to do. I think a lot of people sell cheap things, and it's easy to sell cheap things. It's not so easy to make a great luxury car at this price point. But that's what we wanted to do, because people expect great things from us, and that's what we want to deliver. Yeah. And I, in general, I think people are expecting more and more things of, of everything. I mean, everything is lux lu luxury now. Starbucks is luxury for coffee. And like, people go and expect more and more and more for less price. So it's another very challenging uh, aspect of the, of the car industry, right? You're exactly right. You're exactly right. And uh, if you look at it, this technology that just a few years ago we launched on a $75,000 A8 is now in a $30,000 A3. It gives you a sense of the speed and the magnitude that you have to put technology and develop things inside a car. You're exactly right. Yeah. And we also drove in the A8 coming into this presentation. I love that car. Great car as well. Oh, Great my God. Well. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Um, one, one last question. Uh, this car is going to, uh, as we were saying, like pu push Audi to a new levels in, in terms of volume and all that. Yeah. But uh, so what are the goals for, for, for 200,000 by when or how is that? We've been saying 200,000 by 2018. Uh, and I feel very confident with this car and these products, we may be able to get there a little bit sooner. But let's see. The yeah. marketplace will tell us. Yeah, because this car is not only the sedan. It's like a family of cars, right? Exactly right. There'll be a Q3 SUV uh, coming in here as well. There'll be a cabriolet and then, of course, a sport bag. So we got four unique body styles. 
launching wow. over the next year and a like half. Launching a brand. It's like <laughs> launching a brand. That's exactly right. And then in your presentation, you said 109 projects you're working? <laughs> in terms <laughs> of our dealerships. Oh, exactly the dealerships, right. yeah. 109 facilities are either being transformed or completely rebuilt. And this just gives you a sense of the investment that's happening with our dealers, which is, uh, which is great. Well, thank you very much. And we're going to uh, drive the car tomorrow more, uh, in a more, uh, more miles than today. And I think we're going to really love the, the two variants for now, right? Like 1.8 and then yeah, exactly. like... Exactly. And the 2 liter Quattro. Excellent. Thank exactly you very much, right. Scott. Thank you very much. Bye. Absolute pleasure. Ese fue Scott Keon, el presidente de Audi of America, durante la presentación de este nuevo modelo de sedán compacto, el Audi A3 2015. Con lo cual eh, Audi está tratando de mantener el ritmo de su real ataque a las firmas de lujo como BMW, como Mercedes Benz y mantener un crecimiento que ellos eh, esperan poder eh, mantener y llegar a las 200 mil unidades vendidas eh, dentro de muy pronto, unos 4 o 5 años. Eh, como decía Scott, eh, este Audi A3 en realidad es una familia de vehículos por ahora van a tener el sedán compacto, el A3. Después vienen otras dos variantes eh, con tipos de carrocería como el convertible. También van a tener el Audi A3 Sportback, una crossover compacta para complementar su línea de modelos de SUV. Ya tienen uh, la Q5, la Q7, así que ahora va a venir también la A3 Sportback. Eh, y por supuesto también van a tener una variante deportiva de la línea S-Line con los autos de alto desempeño de Audi muy interesante ver cómo Audi está avanzando con la tecnología y ahí durante la presentación que tuvimos con Scott en la noche antes del test drive nos explicaban eh, cómo sus socios en realidad eh, están trabajando con ellos durante muchos años para la integración de toda esta tecnología nueva que ya no es simplemente colocar un GPS, colocar una llave de acceso automático al, al vehículo para que prenda sin llave. Es en realidad integrar una gran cantidad de tecnología y uno de los ejemplos más claros es cómo ellos han tenido una colaboración con Google desde el año 2004. Así que han pasado 10 años y ahí está Audi con este nuevo vehículo. Eh, el test drive realmente fue espectacular. El auto es, eh, se maneja muy bien. Eh, tiene un agarre, un performance, un handling eso que tienen solamente los autos alemanes. Les invito a que vayan al canal de YouTube Autos Javier Mota para que vean todas las impresiones porque aquí lamentablemente se ha acabado el tiempo para este show. Por ahora solo les alcanzo a decir que además de ese handling especial que tiene el auto, el diseño exterior es muy muy atractivo, eh, para mi gusto mucho más atractivo que por ejemplo la última generación o la generación eh, actual del Audi A4, pero bueno es de esperarse después de trabajar tantos años, 5 a 7 años en el diseño y en el desarrollo de este vehículo, se espera que el nuevo sea mejor que el anterior y eso es justamente lo que ha logrado Audi con el Audi A3 2015 una vez más gracias a Camilo Alfaro de Autoproyecto.com por la colaboración en la cobertura del Auto Show de Ginebra y Amelia Island yo los espero aquí en Cristina Radio Network en una próxima edición de Autos 060 yo soy Javier Mota Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.